Hey y'all, it's Michaela Janae here back with another video and I know right now I look an absolute mess but before I actually get into this video and show you guys the after, I need to show you guys the before. Um, I did these braids last Saturday and it is currently Thursday and I am taking them out. I want to show you guys at least how they look before I take them out and talk about why I'm taking them out in such a short period of time. So I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to come back on here and explain it to you guys to see if some of you guys can relate right, to So this is my hair. I don't think I have a lot of shedding but this is like probably the cutest braid out. And it's still so moisturized and it's so pretty. The only thing that's like puffy are, are these parts because the braid was so long right here and I took it out the other day but everything else is nice and moisturized. What's good y'all? It's Michaela Janae here back with another video. So as you can see from the previous clips, <laughs> I have recently taken out some braids that I only had for about seven days. In my previous videos, I actually shot a couple videos with the braids because I knew I was going to take them out really quick. First let's get some background information on me and braids and braiding hair and all that good stuff. Since I've always had good hair, I like the length of my hair, I never was a type of person to do braids and probably because my mother doesn't do braids like that, I was never someone who constantly got braids in like the children around me did. I'd like to say in like maybe 6th or 7th grade, I tried braids out for the first time using braiding hair and when I did that and I took them out, I really experienced a lot of shedding like more than usual and I would get like little bumps in the front of my hair around the edges and people would be like maybe they're too tight no when I tried it again in like eighth grade I did it myself I did it looser I still tended to scratch a lot it was just making my scalp so dry but then I was like maybe I'm allergic to braiding hair maybe my skin can't take something with the synthetic hair so you know I'd look it up on YouTube at the time back then and I was and it said to you know soak the hair in vinegar you know get this type of hair get this type of hair but I did try the whole soaking method I've tried that before but then eventually I just stopped I was getting too much shedding I used to get bumps like all around my edges I would just start to break out if the hair touched my skin start to scratch and it's so itchy to me like, but then I started getting into more this year of wearing the braiding hair as a ponytail making braids you know adding a little braid and I was like hey maybe this brand is different maybe I won't break out from this so I was like let's give it one more shot I saw this picture the you know grownish inspired braid so I was like maybe if I do really big parts and I do the braids really big and it's not really on my scalp like that maybe I can get around it itching and the bumps and all that stuff I did it myself I did the rubber band method but then not even two days later that's when I started to scratch once again I started to scratch so bad it was like my scalp was inflamed it was just so bad I could not take it I wanted to keep it in for two weeks but I was like I don't even think I can make it till Sunday and I could not I took my hair out what Friday no I took it out Thursday afternoon like I could not even keep them in for that long it, it was just so bad my scalp was so dry it, there was no moisture I greased my scalp twice in a matter of five days my scalp was not getting any moisture before I did the braids I greased my scalp really good the second day into braids I oiled it I kept trying to make you know my dad go away make sure that my scalp is not dry my hair was moisturized in the braids like as you can see this is the braid out from having my hair in braids and the like me and braids do not mesh i don't really think i would do it again i, I don't see a need braids are something where since it doesn't work for me i'm not going to try to make it work i don't think braids is a protective style that i need in my life i recently watched a tiara walker's video about how she can't wear lace fronts anymore and i was like this, I feel you. I don't think I can do braids anymore because it just does not work for me. I, I can't say I'm allergic because all over my room there's braiding hair because I'm constantly doing ponytails, I'm constantly doing braids, bubble ponytails, all types of protective styles with braiding hair but the minute I try to do some braids it's a problem. I just thought I'd come on here and you know share my experience because I don't know who else is like this. A lot of people say that there's a quick fix but in my years of experience there's nothing I can do to make my scalp okay with having braids at the time I don't think I experienced a lot of shedding because I did do them so large I tried to do jumbo my scalp was extremely dry it was flaking my edges physically hurt like they hurt and I didn't even do them that tight I just I could not 
it wasn't good for me. So, if you guys have had similar situations, please leave a comment down below. It's, it's wasting my money at this point, so I really don't think I would do it again. I don't want to waste my money. If I'm buying braiding hair, it's going to be for a ponytail, and that's about it. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. 